Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I want to talk about essentials for your cricket. So a question I get asked all the time is, I'm going to buy my cricket machine, what else do I need? Now I do need to state these are my personal preferences, not everyone's going to agree with them. I personally love the Cricut tools, um, I find they fit perfectly in my fingers, uh, they're cushioned for my fingers, I've always struggled uh, with dexterity issues, so for me, I love the Cricut uh, tools. It is always worth checking to see if there is a bundle with your machine, so if you are in the States or Canada, you get free shipping over $100 on the Cricut.com site. There are normally some great sales on there, worth looking out for the sales, and they do really good bundles as well. So it's worth looking at the bundles and seeing what's in them in terms of the different tools and materials. If you're in the UK, Hachonda do a Cricut show once a month. They normally do two in one day. They do fantastic bundles on those days. So it's always worth checking Hachonda uh, for when the shows are and you'll be able to see the different machine bundles they've got. They often include tools in those and materials. Hobbycraft quite often will have a bundle deal as well. And it's also worth checking other authorised sellers such as Crafts You Love to see if they've got any bundle deals. Always check for summer sales, always check for Black Friday sales, always check for Christmas or New Year's sales. Also make sure that you are signed up to different craft stores emails. Uh, you'll often find that they send out discount vouchers, that's kind of everywhere. So it happens in the UK, it happens in the States, Canada, I'm sure Australia and worldwide. Always, always worth making sure that you are subscribed to craft shops emails not only will they send you money off coupons but they'll also let you know when they're having sales so my first essentials are the mats so all of the machines come with a light grip blue mat and the maker also comes with a pink fabric mat Sometimes you'll find that there is a bundle where there are green mats included. These are standard grip mats for most materials such as vinyl and iron on heavier card stocks. The majority of materials you're going to be using you'll want a green mat for. Your blue mat you're going to use a lot for paper and card crafting. If the green mats come in a bundle then it is definitely worth considering that or you can buy them individually. Uh, they come in a pack of two and it's definitely worth having some green mats and also a spare blue mat. The Cricut Essential tool set for me is invaluable. It's something that I got when I first bought my machine. You can get them in a variety of colours to correspond with your machine colour. So the Essential Toolkit comes with the portable paper trimmer. I have to say I use this all the time, I really really do. Uh, it's great for cutting down vinyl and iron on, uh, it's great if you're using 12 by 24 cardstock pieces or if you're working with scraps and you want to cut them down. I use it a lot and I actually use it a lot more than I ever thought I would. Cricut Scissors. Anyone that watches my channel knows how much I love my Cricut scissors. Uh, I constantly lose them and I then constantly have to replenish them. Uh, they are currently safe and secure all together. I actually found them all. But I love the Cricut scissors. They are super sharp. They are nice and small and portable. They fit beautifully on your pegboards if you have a pegboard. Equally, if you don't have a pegboard, they sit in most containers. Uh, they don't take up a lot of space and I just think that they are really good scissors. The Essential Tool Set also comes with a small squeegee. This is great for removing things like cardstock and paper from your mat and it's also great for helping you transfer vinyl. 
I like the small one because it allows you to work on small complicated materials. So it's great for things like glasses. You get the Cricut spatula, which again is one of my go-to tools. I use this all the time. I use it again for removing a lot of items from my mat. Uh, it's probably one of my most used tools. I'm going to be honest, Cricut tweezers are not my favourite thing. Uh, they're probably one of the few things that I would swap out for something else, but they do come with the essential toolkit. Some people love them, some people aren't so keen, it's all personal preference, uh, but they're always handy to have around. You get a weeding tool, which is absolutely essential, not just for vinyl and iron-on, but I find I use my weeding tools a lot for cardstock and paper stock. And you also get the scoring stylus. If this is discounted or in a bundle, it is definitely worth considering. I bought mine at full price. I was more than happy to pay full price for it, but it's always worth looking out for a bargain. One of my essential tools for a long time was the Cricut Extra Large Scraper. Uh, this is still somewhat of a much used tool for me, but I use it in a different way to what I used to. So I used to use it to apply paper, cardstock, vinyl, iron-on, felt, basically all my materials onto my mat. I no longer use it for that. What I now use it for is removing large pieces of materials from my mat, so vinyl, iron-on, cardstock, and I also use it for transferring onto tricky surfaces. As I say, I used to use my Cricut Extra Large Scraper for adhering items to my Cricut mat. I no longer use that. My absolute love cannot live without, if I am stranded on a desert island with my machine and I can only have one tool, it is going to be my fabric brayer. I love my fabric brayer. If need be on my desert island, I can find a stick to weed out with. I can find other ways to transfer, but I need, need, need my fabric brayer. This was originally intended for use with fabric on the pink fabric mat with the Cricut Maker and the Rotary Blade. However, I use it constantly. I use it to adhere everything to my mat. What I love about it is because it's a roller and not a scraper, if you've got a high shine material such as a foil poster board or a holographic vinyl, it's not going to scratch it. I also use it with my vinyl transference a lot. I find it's nice and easy to use, I love the size of it, it's just something that I absolutely love. Now you can get the brayer on its own and you can also get it in a set like this with the fabric tweezers. If you are using it with a lot of material, so if you've got an air for example, you're not really going to be using fabric. I suggest that you get the fabric brayer on its own. If you have got a Cricut Maker, you're using fabric a lot, then actually these tweezers I do like. I do like these tweezers and I do use them for removing felt and fabric from my mat. So I have two essentials here and believe it or not, I actually use them pretty much for the same reason. So you could use either or, or you could buy both. I use these all the time. So I've got my Cricut True Control knife kit and I've also got the Cricut weeding tool set. So the True Control knife was meant for working with Cricut chipboard uh, and also for doing hand cut items. I use it for weeding and I use it for weeding a lot. I find that the point is really, really good. Uh, it's super sharp, uh, it's very accurate. I love how it fits in my fingers. I love that it's got that kind of silicone padding. So for me, I use the True Control knife as a weeding tool a lot. And actually, it is a fantastic weeding tool. I can never have enough weeding tools. So again, the weeding tool set is something that I love. If the weeding tool set is out of your budget or it's not in a bundle, then it's definitely worth sticking with the weeding tool that's in the essential tool set 
and I'm really considering getting the True Control knife kit and using that as your weeding tool. However, if it's in a bundle, I definitely recommend going for it. There are so many Cricut products out there. There are so many that catch your eye and you want to try and you get super excited about but you just can't buy them all at once. So again, it's always worth if there is a sale on or a bundle on when you are purchasing your machine, having a look and seeing what products there are. I always recommend when you first start out that you do buy Cricut consumables. Uh, it's definitely worth starting off with the Cricut consumables, so vinyl, cardstock, iron-on, uh, papers, vellum, you know, the list is endless, you don't need everything, you only need a few pieces to get you started. The reason I always recommend starting with the Cricut ones is obviously the Cricut products work best with the Cricut machines. All the Cricut products cut on their appropriate Cricut settings. There are settings for every single Cricut product and they will cut perfectly as long as your blade is sharp, your blade is clean, uh, your product is on your mat properly and you've chosen the right cut setting. And of course when you first get your machine all of these things will be exactly as they should be. I use other products, I don't just use Cricut products, I use different card stocks, I use different vinyls, I use different iron-ons, but I do love Cricut products, I really really do. And as I say, it is worth getting them to start with. So my kind of essentials are just a few bits to get you started. It is always worth getting a cardstock sampler pack of some description or a paper sampler pack of some description, whether it be glitter cardstock, uh, the craft board, deluxe paper, there's shimmer paper, there's sparkling paper. Have a look, see which ones you like. You only need one or two. It's just to get you started. It's just so you can play and experiment. It's worth getting one of the 12 by 24 cardstock sampler packs. This one is Sorbet. It cuts beautifully, it's a really nice cardstock, and it's great for when you're just starting out. If you are interested in working with vinyl with your machine, then again, it's always worth getting a few of the vinyl sampler packs. You only need one or two. The sampler packs are great because they allow you to see the different vinyls that are out there. You've got removable, you've got permanent, there's pearls, there is holographics, there is glitters. So again, definitely worth getting one or two rolls of the sampler packs. Always make sure that you read what's in the sampler packs. Some of them, such as the shimmer glitters, will come with a transfer tape because it needs a heavy grip transfer tape. That is the only one that needs heavy grip transfer tape. The rest of the vinyls need a standard grip transfer tape. You can buy this individually and sometimes it does come in the sampler packs. So make sure that you read what is in the sampler packs. If they don't come with the transfer tape, then you will need to buy a roll of this. All machines come with the premium fine point blade and the maker comes with the rotary blade. A blade that I absolutely love is the deep cut blade. You will need to get the deep cut blade and its housing. Uh, you only need to buy the housing once. For me, this is my go-to blade. I use it all the time. The reason I use it all the time is that it has a greater angle of rotation. So it's great for really small fonts, uh, really cursive fonts. It's great for small cutting items. I just find it to be a fantastic blade and it's a blade that is constantly in my machine. Not everyone will agree with my recommendations in this video, it is a personal choice. Plenty of people use the premium point blade and they use that all the time and they've never used the deep cut blade and they're quite happy with not using it. I personally love it. 
All machines come with a black fine point pen uh, and you'll find that a lot of bundles will come with one or two different pen packs. I love the Cricut Ultimate Fine Point Pen Set. Uh, there is a fantastic variety of colours in there. I use my pens a lot, so if you're going to be doing a lot of cards, uh, you think you're going to be doing a lot of writing and drawing, it's definitely worth looking at the Ultimate Fine Point Pen Set. I love the Fine Point Pens, they write beautifully. If you are going to be going into the world of iron-on, I urge you to really think about getting a Cricut Easy Press 2. It is just fantastic. I used to use an iron before these came out. Using an iron can be really unpredictable. Uh, the heat is very central in an iron, so the rest of the plate is at different temperatures. They're a really awkward shape and you don't know the exact time and temperature because most of the time the settings are set to a material setting and there's no timer. So you definitely want to really consider getting an Easy Press 2. They are so easy to use, they are so accurate and the entire plate is heated to an exact temperature and it will stay at that temperature. It comes in three sizes, so there is the 6x7, the 9x9 which is this one, and the 12x10. I have all three. I always say if you can only get one, it's worth going for the 9x9. For me, when the Easy Press 1 came out, that was the only size there was, so we all had a 9 by 9 there was no other options and it worked great you'll find for a lot of items that you're working with iron on the 9 by 9 is a perfect size if you're going to be using a lot of small items then you may want to consider getting the 6 by 7 first of all it's obviously cheaper because it's smaller uh, it is great for items such as baby grows and the great thing is you can still use it with bigger designs, you're just going to do it in sections. For me, I always say your first one really needs to be the 9x9, nine nine, unless you are predominantly working with smaller items, then you want to consider the 6x7. If you can get two, go for the 9x9 nine nine and the 6x7, and of course, if you can get all three, then why not? But Having one, either 9x9 nine nine or 6x7, six works perfectly well and you just adapt its usage to the item that you're using. I love my Easy Press 2 bag, it's absolutely fantastic. It's worth noting that the Easy Press 2 bag also can be used with the original Easy Press, which is a 9x9, nine nine, but you will need to get the larger bag. The base on the Easy Press 1 is different to the base on the Easy Press 2. So if you have got an Easy Press 1 and you want a bag for it, you will need to get the larger of these bags. Do you need a bag? Well, it depends on the usage. I am going around lots of places. Uh, I take my Easy Press with me a lot. The bag for me is great because you leave the machine to cool down for five minutes and then you can pop it straight in the bag and it will not do any damage to the bag and it will protect all surfaces. So for me it's great because I can put it straight in the car and I don't have to wait for the machine to cool down. However, if you are just in your craft room and you're never going to be taking your Easy Press out of your craft room, then the bag is not an essential item for you. I have to say, I do love it though. They are very, very smart and I love that they've got little pockets in them as well. If you are purchasing an Easy Press, then the absolute must with the Easy Press is the Easy Press mat. Again, this comes in three sizes, so you've got 8x10, 12x12 and 20x16. I've got all three and actually, even with my little Easy Press, the one that I use the most is the big mat, which is 20x16. If you've got a little Easy Press 
and you're going to be doing a big t-shirt for example you're going to have to constantly move the little mat under the t-shirt whereas if you've got a big mat you just place the t-shirt on there and then you just need to move your easy press in sections so I definitely recommend getting a mat and if you are only going to get one I recommend getting the big one Another thing I recommend is the Cricut Iron-On Protective Sheet. Now, this is only, as far as I'm aware, available in America and Canada. It is not available in the UK, unfortunately. I got mine from the States, so if you are in the States, it is something I definitely recommend. I use it all the time. So it goes between my easy press and my iron-on once I've removed the carrier sheet. So if I'm doing layers, this is invaluable. If you are in the UK, you will want to get something like a Teflon sheet. Uh, you can pick these up from most kind of home stores, uh, places like Poundland, The Range, uh, you can get them on eBay or Amazon. They do exactly the same thing as the heat protectant sheet. And again, you do need one if you're going to be layering. Again, in terms of iron-on, there are so many options. I mean, the Cricut range of iron-on has just exploded. And of course, there are other companies that offer iron-on or heat transfer vinyl as well. Again, when you're first starting out, if there is a bundle or a special offer, definitely worth getting the Cricut iron on and I always recommend starting with Cricut products anyway because they do cut perfectly with the correct cut settings. I always say go for sampler packs, you only need one or two when you are starting. Uh, there are so many different options, you've got everyday iron on, there is sport flex, there is holographic sparkle, there is patterned, foil, glitter, there's holographic, there's mesh, it's endless. Definitely worth getting one or two different sampler packs just so that you can have a play. Now I know what you're all thinking, you're all thinking, Jen, you said essentials and yet you've given us like a mountain of stuff. Yes I have. You don't need all of these items to begin with. Uh, you, you know, budgets are different for everyone. But you will find that as you go on, these items do become an essential part of your kit. Uh, you know, all of the items that I've shown in this video, I use all the time. I'm not saying go and buy them all at once, it's just not always possible. But it is worth, as I say, looking at bundles, special offers, you know, sales, always great to see what's out there. Make sure that you shop around. If you're in the US, there are lots of options. The Cricut site is amazing for sales. If you're in the UK, uh, the options are slightly more limited and the bundles are more limited. But if you are savvy with your shopping, you can get some really good deals, especially at Hobbycraft with the three for two. Uh, with Hachonda, they do great bundles, Crafts You Love and other craft stores often do great deals, sales and bundles as well. It is definitely worth considering all the items I've shown today. As I say, I don't expect anyone to go out and buy them straight away. I didn't buy them all at once. I have built this kit up, but they are my essentials kit. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified of when I upload. If you have any questions, you've got any suggestions, if you think I've missed anything out that you love, or equally you think there's a good alternative out there, then please do comment below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all again soon.